What's up? I'm Shantae D. And today we're going to be talking about sweet tooth options to lose weight. Now, necessarily, these are not going to be sweet tooth tooth options to lose weight but they're definitely going to be some that you can use that may not tip the scales a little bit that you can easily find that you can um grab and go it's all about portion control and i'm going to show you some examples right now creators i love these things i'm actually almost out like the bag is pretty much just air right now <laughs> But it is my favorite snack to choose, caramel popcorn. It used to be caramel cake. Now I didn't, re I didn't change it, honey, to caramel popcorn. So I eat pop caramel popcorn, and it says you can have um, a half cup serving, and it will give you 23 grams of carbs, 120 calories, blah, blah, blah. We just gonna leave that information there. So you guys could, uh, you know, research that. I don't pay too much attention anymore to this nutritional menu as I do to this one. This one is the most important to me because you can eat a whole bunch of healthy food, healthy nutrient dense foods, um, that, you know, equals up to a total, a, a whole amount of calories, like a whole bunch of calories, but you end up losing weight anyway, because those foods were actually nutrient dense. They were healthy and they were good for your body. So I don't focus too much on this nutritional menu as I do on this one. So the ingredients say brown sugar, cane sugar, popcorn, salted butter, brown rice butter, sunflower and or sunflower, flour, safflower, my bad, safflower oil, sea salt, soy lectin, and baking soda. So those are the ingredients. Nothing in there is GMO. It's non-GMO, non-GMO, no high fructose corn syrup, no artificial flavors, colors, uh, preservatives none of that stuff in this bag and that is the reason why i love it i will eat a half cup of these um just to snack on if i crave if i get a little sweet tooth or whatever and my sweet tooth is gone make sure you drink plenty of water plenty of water throughout the day i don't really have a sweet tooth it, this is just something to snack on and i just love them so you know what I'm saying? Once you get into intermittent fasting, your sweet tooth kind of just goes out the window, really. But I just love these and they don't like, they don't make me gain weight at all. Like I just, I don't feel bloated or anything after I eat these um, or the next day at all. So make sure that if you just, if you're someone who just loves a good snack, these and you, and you love caramel, these are the way to go. Creators I got from um my local jewel but i know that my jewel osco but i know that walmart has them target has them whole foods whole foods has them you know what amazon fresh had them but now i see that they only have the caramel and cheese one mix i don't really like that because they don't give you that much caramel in there they give you like all cheese but you can try and look at those locations and see if they have them in your area as well but i mean anywhere your groceries you get your groceries you should be able to find these biscotti no no biscoff right biscoff biscoff is my favorite first of all who don't know these cookies if you don't know these cookies you ain't never been on an airplane before straight up or you ain't never had like somebody who worked for the airline in your family who brought these cookies home to you okay so <laughs> these cookies are what they serve on the airline now i haven't been on a plane since oh child i know that they serve these they might i don't know they might have cut back you know inflation or whatever but at the end of the day these cookies were a bomb and they sold them on the planes I found them on Amazon Fresh like a month ago, and I was like, oh, I had to get these, bro. These cookies taste like, bro, these cookies taste like, I'm trying, these cookies, 
You understand what I'm saying? These cookies right here, Ninja. Right here, these cookies, Ninja. Cryptochronic, crina like Ninja. I'm trying to say, these cookies taste like heaven in a bag. These cookies are bomb. I'm trying to say, look at the ingredients. So y'all have that. Y'all can pause to read. Pause to read. Wheat flour, sugar, vegetable oils, okay? Um, brown sugar syrup, sodium bicar bicarbonate, which is leavening, sal soy flour, salt, and cinnamon. Now, it does contain wheat and soy, okay? I do not eat uh, these often because of the whole soy complex. And if you know, you know. If not, I don't mess with soy like that because... Um, soy is not natural to the body. And if you like follow the Dr. Sebi alkaline, um, alkaline, I don't want to say diet, alkaline way of life, maybe I should say, but cause I don't like to say diet. Diet means I, I don't even really like that word. Like don't even say, let's get into the habit or let's normalize way of life. You know what I'm saying? So if you get into the whole Dr. Sebi way of life, alkaline eating, he talks about the fact that soy is not natural to the earth and it's not good for the human body. Like the human body doesn't know how to digest soy. So he says to stay away from products with soy. I believe that there's a balance in everything, but I'm also transitioning to healthier, more alkaline eating. I'm just not there yet. So I take baby steps, you know what I'm saying? to my journey or you know through my journey my family my whole family along with me so um rather than just snatching everything away all at once we're taking baby steps away from all the bad stuff yes this contains soy if you are allergic to soy or automatically don't eat soy then this one would not be for you um but like i said everything in moderation so it says the service size is literally four cookies for 150 calories and um, 23 grams of carbs. Four cookies? I don't even eat four cookies. Like I, to I literally eat two cookies a day or every other day or every two days or something like that. Like that is a really good snack if you're trying to keep everything on the low low. Everything bad for you tastes like heaven, does it? I found them on Amazon Fresh. I found them at Target. And I'm pretty sure they're probably at Walmart. I don't really shop at Walmart because I, I just don't like Walmart. But um, I'm pretty sure they have them at Walmart too. So check your local, you know, grocers if you're looking for these bad boys. Hunty, you already see. And I even eat, I even open this pack. My kids open this pack. Like, they straight be just jacking me for all my little snacks. I, I bought them their own little organic snacks to eat or whatever. They Kids eat my snacks. And I don't even eat their snacks. See how they do? Oh. This applesauce is all natural applesauce. And I know many people might not think of this as a snack, but hunty, it comes in clutch on them days. You need a little, you know what I'm saying, sugary snack. So this says, like apple pie without the crust. This is called Mullins Thick and Chunky Applesauce. All natural, less sugar. Sometimes we get the less sugar. Sometimes we just get the original. But um, my kids say that they that this tastes just like apple pie like if you miss an apple pie you like man I don't even... this tastes just like apple pie we use this mainly to mix um sea moss with so this is how we take our sea moss okay y'all know about sea moss get up get into it get into it because sea moss can be your best friend you need you can't stomach the whole you know what it feel like in your mouth and all of the stuff Get you some applesauce. I got this Mullins applesauce from Jewel. And I think it was like $4. I think it was like $4 for this like one thing. And I got like five of them or something like that. Because we really down this stuff. Um, Here's the label. Get into it. Pause to read. Pause to read. Um, I mean, check the ingredients, bro check the ingredients like all that stuff say is the first ingredients my ninjas okay love bugs apples that's what it say love bugs apples that's the first ingredient apples apple juice concentrate cinnamon salt lemon concentrate nutmeg that's it 
There's literally no chemicals in this app. This applesauce is bomb. You understand what I'm saying? Tastes just like um, an apple pie, and it's bomb. 21 grams of carbs. I don't like I said. I don't look at carbs and stuff no more. 80 calories, a half a cup. Refrigerate after open. This applesauce is is bomb. Okay. It was made in Chicago by a former Chicago police officer, but um, that's not the only reason why I bought it. I literally just fell in love with the fact that the ingredients were all natural. Sweet Tooth Cure, okay? Nature's Bakery. Now, I know a lot of people, you know, may feel some type of way about the whole the whole box thing, you know, you know, all that stuff is box stuff, store ball. Listen, when you trying to find something on the go or in a hurry and you got four kids tagging along behind you, you're gonna get what you can get. You know what I'm saying? Just trust in the ingredients. So I got this. It says right what well, you can see right there, it says non-GMO, um, non-GMO verified product. You understand what I'm saying? So that is letting you know. That, you know, this is a good product. It says vegan, kosher, nut-free, dairy-free. The ingredients, whole wheat flour, cane sugar, syrup, date paste, can canola oil, cocoa powder, cane sugar, chocolate, sea salt, flaxseed, baking soda. Literally all, or, uh, all um, regular ingredients. <laughs> Just like out of rain, you know? take that to the bank you know what I'm about if you you know if it was if it was money you could, you could take that to the bank but what i'm saying is this is a good joint you know what i'm saying now they do have other variations mind you they have like apple uh cinnamon and raspberry whatever whatever those i do not recommend and i'm saying that because they do those other ones do have chemicals in them that i don't i wouldn't personally eat and put in my body um but for some reason the chocolate one the brownie one does not have any of that in there it is literally straight you know raw ingredients and i'm thinking it's because it's chocolate you know chocolate is natural to the earth and everything like that so hey get you pick you up some of them bomb kids tear through boxes of them. veggie chips veggie chips now this is like a um this is open nature brand I know they have a name brand version of the veggie chips and it actually says veggie chips and all that other stuff, but I don't get those. I get the generic because when I look in the veggie chip one, it has like some ingredients that I just don't agree with. Like for real, check out the ingredients. If y'all want me to make a video on the ingredients that I don't agree with, that I don't put in my body, that I stay away from when I see them on products, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if y'all want me to make a video on those types of ingredients that I don't mess with. See the ingredients, see the nutritional facts. Veggie chips, boom, that's the first ingredient. Potato flour, potato starch, cornstarch, salt, tomato paste, spinach powder, sugar, beetroot, natural ingredients, y'all, natural ingredients. It goes on to say, uh, expeller pressed high oleic sunflower and or sapphire, sap, sapphire, safflower oil, um, and sea salt. That's it. That's the reason why I buy these veggie chips instead of the other ones. My kids tear through these. Um, we're going to start like branching away from these as time goes on. But right now, instead of them getting Doritos and Cheetos and all that stuff, when I brought these home, they was like, oh, snap. I mean, we use it. We get some salsa. Scoop the boys. I'm telling y'all. Forget the Doritos. Forget the Cheetos. Get you some veggie chips. So don't sleep on the Good and Gather aisle or the Good and Gather products from Target, okay? Target has some pretty decent, you know what I'm saying, Good and Gather products. Now they ain't, you know what I'm saying, they ain't, they ain't, you know, they ain't. But at the same time, some of them are pretty, you know what I'm saying, decent. So this one is a flavor fusion, like fruit strip, you know what I'm talking about? And it's a great alternative to... Um, the fruit snacks, the little regular fruits, there, the mots and all that other, those fruit snacks. The, in the um, label. Check out the label. Check out the label. One strip, which is usually all my kids get a day. Like, they'll get one strip uh, for a snack. And then if they choose to get one strip for dessert, then boom, you know what I'm saying? But 
my kids they just they have a snack and they have dessert today they don't we don't we don't eat like that we don't run through snacks like that no they got designated times so i don't play that apple puree concentrate apple juice concentrate apple fiber natural flavors pectin fruit and vegetable juice for color raspberry juice concentrate and blueberry juice concentrate on the outside on the surface these are not too bad um there is one ingredient in here that i don't agree with but because of the rest of the ingredients, I let them go ahead with this. In time, we will be getting rid of these as well. But if this is something that you need to get through um, your sweet tooth, you know what I'm saying, while you're transitioning or whatever the case may be, where you need to, um, while you're trying to lose weight and everything, these are a good alternative. My kids love these. They say they taste great. I don't eat them um, simply because, you know what? And let me stop lying. I eat one or two here and there or whatever but i don't really these are not you know i'm not a fruit snack person you know what i'm saying so that's the reason why i like only eat them here and there or whatever but yeah these are bomb and it don't like give you no headache after effect like regular candy does i don't know if you guys know you know have experienced that or whatever but yeah so these these are good target good and gather they also have other variations like a like a flat fruit strip and like a twisty fruit strip so if you want to you know grab those look at the ingredients too though we get those sometime as well another version of a fruit snack is these little teen seeds it's called plum organics teensy snacks and they're soft fruit snacks it's for you know tots five packs i buy them for harmony because for my my one-year-old because she looks at the other kids like oh they got a snack i want a snack so mommy went out and found that baby a snack honey because she can't be left out so we got her a snack and it says no high fructose corn syrup it says certified organic no genetically modified nothing is what it said pause to read pause to read she gets like one pack maybe every other day she don't really harmony is not a sweet baby at all she barely eats meat she's really a vegetarian or a vegan i'm gonna say she's really a vegan already herself like she came out <laughs> a vegan homegirl don't want to eat no chicken we put her food on her high chair and let her you know go to town she would not eat the chicken. She she may take like a small teensy eeny we bite just to taste it, you know, because it's in front of her. Other than that, she's swiping it off her table. She's putting it. She don't want to eat chicken. She don't want to eat turkey. She don't want to eat any kind of meat. Okay. She just wants to eat fruit and vegetables. That that's home homegirl came out a vegan. I don't know how, I don't know why. I mean, she was sent here. Her soul was sent here to teach us. <laughs> the right way of living okay so we that's why we that's where we following we following homegirl let me tell y'all something about homegirl if she don't want to eat it homegirl ain't gonna eat it you put that stuff on now she like the no 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 try again you know what i'm saying no try again she dodged she like she like she play a ball she like you know what i'm saying <laughs> like oh girl will not eat that shit I'm trying not to curse. I want my I don't want my video to get YouTube tripping. Organic apple puree concentrate. Organic apple juice concentrate. Organic berry puree. Organic cherry puree. Organic elderberry juice concentrate. You know what I'm saying? All this stuff. So again, homegirl don't eat these like that. But if your little baby or even you, because I taste these and these is bomb. But if your little baby or even you want to try these out, you can definitely try these out. These are nine. They're not overly sweet either. They are not overly sweet. We're going to be transitioning. All we're going to get our sweets from is fruits, 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 fruits. And honey, I am looking for me a watermelon. I cannot wait until my farmer's market opens. That's a video for another day. If you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel because you want to stay up to date on all of the weight loss tips that I'm going to be dropping on this channel. Until next time, love bugs. Peace to the gods and goddesses.